Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making miniature doormats using a Cricut machine. In this project I've used a number of different fabrics and materials and I've created four different designs. So we've got this bird design, a little hello mat, a tree with heart leaves and this half circle mat design. Let's start with the hello doormat. I took my inspiration from this Hello doormat which I found online. Starting in Cricut Design Space, create a square under the Shapes tab. Then change the colour to orange for the material we'll use. And we're going to create the full size mat before scaling it down. So go to the website where you've got your chosen mat and look up the dimensions. And pop those measurements into Cricut Design Space under the Edit tab. I'm using the iPad version of Cricut Design Space, but the names of these features are universal across platforms. Now we're going to make a stencil. Looking at the construct of our doormat, we've got the word hello in the middle, and then we have a black square around the outside. To make the stencil, under the Actions tab, duplicate the rectangle you made earlier. Then drag the second rectangle over the top so you're overlaying it and resize in the bottom right hand corner here. The second rectangle should be smaller, so we can create that outside edge you saw earlier. Once you're happy with the sizing, we're going to colour that second rectangle black under the Edit tab. And this is going to be our stencil piece, which I will cut from vinyl. Now let's cut out the word hello from our stencil. Go over to Text, and then you're going to scroll through and pick your font of choice. I recommend a font with thick lettering so we can easily paint this stencil onto our doormats. I played around with a few different fonts but ended up settling on one called Double Whipped. Once selected, type in the word hello. You'll notice here the letters are separated so we're going to click on the word and then click ungroup and that will separate each of the letters within that word. And then you can carefully select each one and drag it over just by highlighting and moving it over and joining all of those cursive pieces together. Then I changed the word to white so that I could overlay it and see it on top of the black. We also need to reattach those letters. So to do that we highlight all of the letters and we use the weld tool. Then we're going to cut the hello out of our stencil so lay it over the top, click slice and then when you drag the words away from that square, you'll see it's cut out of the stencil. Just delete the excess pieces and when you drag it over the top, you can see right through to the backing. Now we need to scale it down to mini size. So I've used inch calculator here. You can put in 1 6th or 1 12th scale and then put in your actual size dimensions. Then once converted, it's as simple as transferring those measurements over into Cricut Design Space. An alternative method for sizing is to measure the front door of your chosen dollhouse and then enter those measurements into Cricut Design Space. Ensure the padlock is clicked so that you retain the aspect ratio. And over on our Cricut mats, we've got the doormat material and then we've got our vinyl with the word hello. Now let's talk suitable doormat material. For one of the doormats, I used this jute webbing. The fibres were tightly woven together and it looked really suitable for a doormat. I also used this 2mm sheet of Shamrock Craft Cork. And surprisingly, I actually liked this one the most. The stencils looked really clean and it just had a good doormat feel to it. Lastly, I got this plain hessian material. And you want to pick a fabric that's tightly woven together like this one. When cutting these materials you're going to use the pink fabric mat and then you want to stick it down with some painters tape or other masking tape to hold it in place. Then for the materials we're going to select extra heavy fabrics like burlap. And we're going to cut our fabric with the Cricut Rotary Blade. Ah! 
For our half circle design, I used brown and black felt. I also used the felt to reinforce the hessian fabric. For the stencil, I used two different materials. I cut some patterns from vinyl. And for the tree design, I used acetate. Because of the intricate cuts, I used a reverse weeding technique to carefully remove all of the lettering from our stencil. When reverse weeding, place your entire design onto the transfer sheet and then weed the letters from the transfer sheet. Once you've weeded all the letters, we're going to carefully place our stencil vinyl on top of our doormat material. You need to go really slowly with this next step to pull back the transfer sheet because it won't stick down firmly. So just take your time, hold down those little pieces to make sure that they stick down. Then to complete our stencil, I've used black acrylic paint with a sponge and keep that sponge quite dry so that the paint doesn't leak through the stencil and carefully dab over the top. And now we're going to go around the outside edge with our sponge. Then when our paint has dried a little bit, I've used a pair of tweezers to very carefully lift up our stencil. And remember it is stuck down, so just take your time here. And you'll also need to remove those tiny pieces in the O, E and H letters. When adding the paint to the more fibrous material, use a paintbrush to get in all of those tiny nooks and crannies. And our hello door mat is complete. Now for our tree and bird door mats, we're going to follow the exact same steps in design space. But instead of text, we're going to look up an image in Cricut design space. When working in miniature form, you want to choose a design that has thick lines so that you can easily cut it out with your Cricut. Once you've chosen your perfect image like this one, we're going to click insert and that will place it onto a canvas. Then just as we did earlier, we're going to create a rectangle and resize our tree so that it fits over the top of our doormat. You can also place the tree image at the front of your doormat by clicking arrange and then center front. Then just simply resize it using that bottom right hand corner. Then you can simply highlight both and attach them and the Cricut will cut the tree out of our square. When using acetate as your stencil, you will need to stick down the edges so that it stays in place. Just as we did before, dab that paint on with a sponge. Then carefully peel off that stencil. There's our little heart tree doormat. I made a stencil with vinyl using this little bird which I stuck in the bottom left hand corner of our doormat and dab 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 that paint on with a paintbrush. And for our final doormat I've taken inspiration from this intricate design. I've used a layer of black felt for the bottom then a layer of brown felt and black vinyl over the top. To create this half circle shape, we're going to click on shapes and create a circle. Then we're going to make a square and we're going to size it so that it cuts off half of our circle like so. Once you've lined it up right in the center, you're going to select both the circle and the square. Go over to the actions tab and click slice and this will cut the square out of the circle leaving you with the half moon shape. Then select your pattern of choice. I've searched for the word pattern in the image database of Cricut Design Space. And I chose this one, which I inserted onto my canvas. Then drag it over to your circle, highlight both, and we're going to use the slice tool. And the slice tool will cut that piece out of our half circle. And this will be cut from vinyl. You'll also need to duplicate your half circle so that you can cut the brown felt. 
which will sit underneath our vinyl piece. Just resize that orange piece so you don't have any of these little gaps in between. To assemble, place some glue onto the brown felt and stick it in the centre of our black felt. Weed your vinyl piece and stick it over the top of your brown felt. Very carefully pull back that transfer tape. Remember to go slow. And then press down any pieces that have lifted up, but your doormat is complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.